Hey darlings, welcome back to a new video. Today's video is very special to me because um, I went ahead and I bought a real kimono. So it's <laughs> I have never worn kimono and like the first kimono that I, I will actually like ever wear is my own kimono so uh, i don't know it just like it feels very special actually the way how i found the kimono shop was that i just went for a walk and then like happened to see like oh kimonos like less than 900 yen blah 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 and then i told about that to my um tutor and she was like oh let's go together and then we went and i actually saw from their instagram like really beautiful mint green um kimono and it was it was so beautiful and i was just like oh i wish they still had that one but it was like two weeks or three weeks later that we went and like i was sure that it wouldn't be there anymore and when we got there i showed them the picture and they were like oh yeah it's gone like the obi was gone but the kimono the jacket was still there and i was like oh Thank you. I mean the the combination. I can probably put it here somewhere. You can also play, please go follow them. <laughs> yeah, this is the picture that I saw and like the combination of the obi, the belt and the like kimono, the jacket uh is really beautiful, but like the kimono jacket was the like the thing that actually caught my I and like I am so happy that they still had it like right when I saw it I was like okay I I am going to buy that like I have I just cannot say no kimonos are well you can get them pretty cheaply too if you buy them second hand I actually like sampled upon like a second hand store that sold kimonos um, but the material um, changes the price a lot the kimono that I bought is silk so that's of course why it's expensive but if you buy a polyester one then it's cheaper but then it's not as authentic and polyester is not the most comfortable fabric during the summer so <laughs> so yeah there are like a lot of things to consider when buying a uh, kimono or like when choosing the mat choosing the material and everything so um keep that in mind if you want to buy a kimono but if you want like very professional help and like professional knowledge very good service i recommend really going to this place this is the map i think they have another store somewhere i'm not sure but this is the store that i went to they're so kind and like me and my <laughs> i know beginner intermediate level japanese is just like uh, uh, and then they were just like trying so so much helping me and of course i had my tutor who helped me too but like now i'm going alone so we will see how that goes and i actually had to call them like in japanese for the first time and i was like uh, so nervous about calling in japanese and then the store uh, person was just like oh you have so cute voice or something i don't know and i was like ah. <laughs> so i mean like the people at the store are really nice they're really kind and everything so i really recommend them if you're very interested in buying kimono or or yukata or whatever i am actually going there now because i bought the kimono but the obi wasn't finished yet it had to kind of like be um in the inside of the obi there had to be added some sort of like interfacing something to kind of like stiffen the belt and they called me this week and and today is actually the 25th of december so it's my christmas present wow. after the new year's like on the 4th of january i'm going with my tutor to the temple wearing kimono so oh, we're actually going to a salon to get our hair done and they actually also do the dressing in the hair salon too or like it's a certain type of salon i think um that does offer the service of like uh dressing you up in a kimono and and uh, like doing your hair
Okay, I have returned home. I have a big bag of things with me. Uh, let me just throw them onto the bed and I will show you what I got. First thing before you judge me, <laughs> as I told you, I have never ever worn a kimono, so I don't know exactly which part goes where, but I have this big bag of um, like little things. Access well, isn't they're not well, this is accessory, I would say, but like other things, and this is also accessory, kind of. But like this goes to inside the obi to kind of like poof it up and everything. And there's a lot of little things over there, but then the main attraction <laughs> is here. I was told to open it right away when I get back to my room, so here we are. <laughs> okay. And okay, so this is the obi, and this is the kimono. And I could show you the obi first. Oh, okay, I need to open this. <laughs> but yeah, it's like this very beautiful. Kind of like a rose gold, kind of. Okay, no, <laughs> this is not working. <laughs> One handed filming is dying. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's like there are these little cranes and these beautiful flowers and everything. And it's, yeah, this time it's very much thicker or like st sturdier, I think. Because like when I went to the store, it was very. Like, it didn't have something inside there, I think. So, yes. This is the obi. Um, let me actually fetch the shoes and the bag. And here we have the bag. The bag is actually so new that it has the, like, um, cover on the handle as well. But, like, look how well it matches. And also the zori, like, what is this? <laughs> I'm so happy that I actually got like a really nice matching set and I will show you the kimono next. Okay, here we go. Actually, well, I don't know if it matters which side I open it from, but let's see. I love it how they are like packaged like into this paper, um, paper bags and everything is like... <laughs> You need to open it like a present <laughs> every time you're going to wear it. Um, top, top, up here. Please stay. <laughs> stay in place, okay? I don't want to fight. But my god, look at this beauty. Look at this beauty. It's like. It's kind of like a gradient that goes from like mint green to this creamy yellow and like pink shade and everything <sighs> it's so pretty I, uh, I can't believe I own this kimono this is mine it's it's my my kimono <laughs> uh, it's so pretty <laughs> oh my gosh and I'm so happy that I get to use it in the in the new years and yeah it's gonna be so much fun. I oh, I can't believe. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Today is a very special day because today is the day when I go to the beauty salon, and and after that, I'm going to the shrine wearing my very own kimono, and I don't know. I'm just. I'm just so excited and actually like one crazy thing um, I mentioned that I found my bag and shoes from and the hair accessory from um, the like secondhand store and yesterday I was like looking the bag and like it had this kind of like a filling um, thing like a crumbled paper thing inside and like uh, it was covered in like white paper, but I saw that there was something underneath it, and I I decided to look uh, what it was. 
and um, it was newspaper inside and like I was like okay well um, let's see like the year or date um, that had uh, like that was on the newspaper and the date was 5th of August 1995 and like I was like whoa this is old but also I was born like week before that the paper that was used was from 95 that it eventually ended up for me and nobody used the bag after that because it had all the price tags or like the tags intact and everything it is crazy that like it ended up for, for me it's it's a very special day for me and um i hope everything goes well <laughs> yeah see you later bye hello there i am neatly packed up and i am just about to head off from the dormitory i have my big bag of kimono stuff and yeah i am ready to go so see you at the salon <laughs> bye I came back from the um, temple and this is my outfit um, my um, Zori the slippers that I wore they broke <laughs> and well like yeah I mean the sole of the shoe came off a couple of times and like I had to take these like baby steps to survive and in the end like they just completely the soul almost like completely came off but luckily at that point I was just at the station so I got to change into my own shoes but for like for a second I was wearing uh, Yami's uh, shoe on my other foot because of the like right shoe completely like poof like the salt is coming off almost um, so I need to find a shoemaker who can fix my uh, Zori but like here is my outfit I will put some better pictures taken at the temple so so yeah I <laughs> the day was really amazing and I enjoyed wearing kimono a lot it wasn't as bad experience as I thought it would be of course the kimono is really like sturdy around here and it's kind of hard to breathe so you cannot really like run up the stairs or anything like that so you need to really just like walk really like nicely and calmly um and sometimes like i guess running out of breath is something that you don't want to <laughs> you don't want to do that um but but yeah like otherwise it was a lot of fun um and yeah I can't wait to be wearing this kimono more because it was really special and meaningful day for me.